Hello and welcome to my old penis. Uh, this is Dot Hack Infection. It's for the PlayStation 2. And let's get this show on the road. Uh, obviously, we're starting a new game we haven't played before. Well, I've played before, but you guys haven't played before. And here is a rather confusing cutscene. I think they're speaking German. I don't understand why they're speaking German. Why German is relevant at all. Well, that's what they're speaking. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's German. It sounds German. Uh, the text looks German-esque, you could say. And it just talks about a random dark, dark crap. Uh, King of Light. Some I didn't pay attention. It really is rather stupid, boring, confusing, whatever. Uh, it might be relevant to the plot of the story, but it just didn't make much sense to me, so I always skipped over this part, or just didn't pay attention. However, I do know that I'm guessing there's some sort of virus or something that's trying to infect the world, as they call it in this game. The world is essentially the MMO RPG that you're playing in this game, so it's like an RPG that emulates an MMO RPG. It's confusing, I know, but... Now that that's over, we get this thing on the road. Uh, it kind of goes to your desktop thing after you register a name. Uh, I think I'm just going to register as Shika because Shika is my name. You're the name I go by. It's not my birth name. My birth name is not Shika. Yeah, that's that's it. I just uh, I, I go with Kite for the character name. I don't really like changing them up. It's fine. And now we can enjoy the world. Yes, the entire world. We're gonna travel it. Except no. The world is the name of the MMO we're playing, so I just go straight to that. It says to go to mail. So I go to that email. I don't even bother to read it. So now I can go to the world, right? Right. Uh, once you go to the world, you can either log in or go to the message boards. The message boards will become relevant later, but right now it's not really worth checking out. So we are going to go to the basically the main city and we're gonna meet up with Bear I think his name's Bear in this game a lot of the characters in this game are similar to a lot of the characters in the anime but they have different names so it's kind of confusing uh, like Kite Tsukasa and Sign Daihak Sign and oh it's or Orica I think his name is not Orica in the I think it's Bear or something in the anime, but this much of irrelevant shit. It just tells you how to add people to your party, essentially. Uh, so I end up calling Orca, and he joins my party. And so, so he talks about mail and random irrelevant stuff. Now people have lives or whatever, so you can't always add people to your party. They try and make it look like a realistic MMORPG, but yeah, it's. That's that. That's the gate. You essentially, go there to uh, travel to like the dungeon and world, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you basically come up with passcodes. Those combos create a place you can warp to. It'll show the battle level, the element of the place, and a couple other details that are probably irrelevant. So we warp to this bursting pass over aqua field. And even though it has bursting and aqua in its name, it's a freaking wood place. I don't get it. But this is our first area, and he basically explains some of the basics of battling and camera views and shiz. So I'm testing the camera views, right? L1, R, L1, R2, L1, R1 to look around and then the right analog to go forward and backwards as far as cameras go. Irrelevant crap, but apparently we have to do it. R2 to reset. And uh, so now at this point, those little those little yellow circle orb thingy majiggy wiggies trigger uh, battles essentially. Uh, yeah, mainly battles. So you go up to them, you get into a battle. I kind of like that, I mean, like, you will be prepared for the battle because you actually go up to it when you want to rather than straight up 
being like Final Fantasy, like, hey, random battle when I don't want it. Random battle every two seconds. So, uh, I like the battle style of this game, like, it's it's like hack and slash, but then you also can do magic attacks by, by going to the menu and shiz. So that, that was easy, obviously, that was like, took like five attacks, he didn't do no damage to me. Then you go to your uh, skill menu, and uh, you can use skills. I used Wrath. Wrath is essentially heal, a heal ability. And uh, there's also chat commands. It's kind of like Final Fantasy XIII with like paradigms. Like you go to a command and your team will do a certain type of uh, action. So if you go to first aid, your teammates will heal you. If you go to so-and-so and whatever. So yeah, that's... That's how it works. We go up to him and like, Orca is so high in level that he just like one hit KOs everything so it's not even fair right now. But I guess that's the art of uh, level grinding. Bring someone with high level and they'll just knock the shit out of everything and you'll get the experience for it. Uh, it's not going to be this easy later on obviously. You'll, you'll see that uh, Orca will no longer be with us. But for the time being I'll just let him do all the work right? Uh, at this point, we're going to go to the dungeon. Every level, I believe, has a dungeon. And at the end of the dungeon, you're going to find a really rare treasure. Which is cool, because that's what dungeons are supposed to do. Give you random rare shit, right? So, uh, he explains the dungeon and how things work. And you can't gate out at dungeons, which kind of sucks. You have to, like, go through the entire thing and go back. Unless they have an item, which I think they do have an item, like Escape Rope and Pokemon, where you can just leave the dungeon. I hope so, or otherwise it's gonna suck so much testicles if I have to go back. Oh, also these blue chests, you have to use like a fortune wire, otherwise it'll be booby trapped and you'll get like raped, so we gotta make sure we stuck on those fortune wires. I think at one point I accidentally screwed up and went to up to it without using the fortune wire and I got uh, poisoned, which is not good obviously because poison uh, is pretty stupid and annoying and irritating etc. Uh, at this point, we're walking, we see some crazy, crazy shiz, like, freaking scary movie, creepy girl is running away from some weird creature holding a weird, uh, it's just weird, I can't even ex explain it, but that is not right, obviously, because we are on level one, and we see some crazy shit going on, so we are obviously going to follow him, right? figure out what's going on because we can clearly handle some freaking crazy looking thing with a fucking red like staff thing so we're going to go that way and hopefully we find something yes 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 now it's dead end but there's a treasure chest so we will grab this treasure like a boss it's a speed charm no idea what that does don't really care right now uh, at this point, this level is hella easy, so I don't really need to do much other than just straight up picking up the treasures and attacking the shit. And letting Orca do most of the work since Orca is over leveled at the moment. So we go the other way, because that is how we do it. Uh, oh yeah, uh, some rooms will leave you trapped and you can't leave the room until you've gone up to all the yellow circle things. But you, you pretty much always want to go up to those anyways, because experience is cool, etc, etc, etc. So now that's done, you can go to the next room. So we go down some stairs, and uh, that's going to lead up to some, some uh, room that leads to another room that leads to another room, because these dungeons are pretty damn generic. And uh, there's three ways to go. I make a pretty big misplay here though. I like, I figured that once I get the treasure chest that would trigger the event and I didn't want to do the event yet so I just leave. But that's what triggered the event. So I basically triggered the event that's going to make me leave the dungeon without getting the treasure. So I just like got raped so hard there. That was so stupid. But luckily I made another save where I did get the treasure so we're not, I'm not totally screwed. But just remember. If you ever play this game, do everything else first before leaving that room or else you're never going to be able to come back and that is going to suck. And now there's a chick, uh, she gives you a book 
I'm assuming it's like some malware or something because these virus things are trying to rape you in the world. And if they do that while you ha or you're in the world, it actually does like physical harm to you in real life. So it's kind of scary. Um, yeah, she's a creepy white girl. I don't know. Uh, now this the, the thing that was following her comes, which I'm assuming is a virus type thing. Because it ends up being like super invincible and some creepy shiz goes on right her. Um, he... Orca is like, oh I'm a boss, I'm gonna try and attack you, but he misses every attack because obviously this guy's invincible. And at this point, uh, he's gonna get anally raped. Like, for real. Uh, this is gonna be a replica of uh, the Jesus Christ cruc crucifixion. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, he's up on the freaking cross thing. And now this guy's gonna be like, effing his day up. Like, that's some creepy shit, man. If I was up on a staff, kind of like Jesus was, like, up, up on the cross, and he was about to shoot some laser thing at me, you are like, oh, fuck, dude. Then at this point, there goes Orca. He's gone. And because this uh, virus thing uh, messed up his day in the game, he's going to get affected by this in real life. And that is going to scare the crap out of uh, Kite. Because Kite, he's about to attack Kite. Uh, and Kite's just like, no, don't attack me, please don't. Something stops him. Some weird, uh, like, staff, staff, I don't even know what that is, honestly, it's, but it saves Kite, Kite gets gated out, and there's a system error, which is, Tote's not even cool, man, I didn't even get to save my, my data, come on, man, like, for real, that is, that is pretty homosexual. Uh, sorry to all the homosexuals out there, but that was pretty homosexual in the sense that everything's alright, and the book randomly goes inside of Kite, which is freaking weird, but I think Kite gets some new powers now, which will hopefully help him uh, distinguish all these virus creature things. And this chick with her boobs sticking out is just staring at Kite. And I'm assuming that's a chick that saved him. And now he's talking about how he can't... He can't, uh... He doesn't know what happened to Yasuhiko, which is the real-life version of uh, Orca. And he's apparently in the hospital, which is quite bad. And at this point, we go to back to the main menu. And that's going to give me time to save. So that's it for this part. Hope you guys enjoy it. <coughs> I encourage you guys to... <coughs> Sorry. I encourage you guys to post in the comments saying what you like to battle, what you don't like, what I can improve, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.